Okay, there we go. We got the Yeti working. Okay, so uh, last stream we tried to fine tune Dolly a little bit. We weren't super successful. That is okay. Uh, we are going to try again. So, um, totally okay if you don't remember last time. Last time where we left off, um, the problem was uh, we didn't have all the things we needed installed uh, to run it. Uh, and then installing gRPC.io, uh, which is where we left off, just took a really long time on the Jetson. And that's because it had to be compiled, because uh, there's no wheel for it for ARM 64 Linux. And... Uh, so yeah, it took a really, really long time. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna restore some things. Okay, and I'm gonna bring up the YouTube. Do -do -do -do. Okay, that definitely sounds like that's working. Um, that's good. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up terminal view. Oh yeah, and then we're gonna put on some chill music, specifically uh, I'm gonna put on some um, uh, oh, we've got a house playlist. Let's try the let's try the house playlist. just realized um, that uh, our screen here, our terminal, is showing the uh, literally from the last time we ran. So that probably means the video is all fucked up. Let's see. Cool. There we go. Got it back. That's good. That's good. And we'll do, we'll do more of this on that day, whatever it's called, uh, tomorrow, Saturday. Okay. Uh, but uh, so one of the things from from last time uh, that we also had was we tried to get it working um, with. My brain is running a little slow right now. Oh yeah, we tried to call the the Dolly Trainer main function. Gave us an error. I did a little bit of a rewrite. Raised to PR. PR got rejected because there's a different way to call it. Uh, than the one that we were doing. And so I'm actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna um, we're gonna go ahead and fix that. Do I have Emacs up here? Yeah, looks like I do. Cool. Um so I'm gonna go find run.sh um, and so instead of python trainer main it's going to be python dash m training dot trainer I think um, and so that way does that look right training yeah okay cool um, sounds good so I'm gonna go over here. Uh, uh, fix how we uh, do our setup and fix how we call the uh, trainer in Dolly. Cool. Now we do a good push. And we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna 
run our friend. Um, how interesting. Oh, yes. I think deep speed didn't work. I guess we will find out. Okay. No, everything succeeded. That's great. Okay. Ah, good. Now we can go ahead and over here we're going to run JTOP. And this will give us an idea of what's going on with the GPU, which so far is nothing. Uh, we're just loading the model. We can see we're just doing CPU. So far, once Python shows up here, and that'll be in the list of things that have um, like GPU allocations, we'll know we're starting to cook with gas, as the saying sponsored by the gas industry, of course, uh, goes. But we can still see that we're chugging along. We're doing some work loading things. And we could load a slightly bigger model. We're just doing the, the 3 billion parameter model um, to start with because it's, it's the uh, smallest one from them, I think. And that's good enough uh, for values of, of good enough. Um, the other thing that I was thinking about doing, um, which depending on how our training goes, Okay, this failed. Um, I don't remember this failing before. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, okay. Um, Yes, I, I do want to use this on a CUDA device, though. Hmm. Why is this not using the CUDA device? That's interesting. Um, hmm. Dolly training trainer.py auto or hmm, uh, CUDA? No. Let's see here. Um. How far have we gotten in our logging? Um, okay, uh, line 22. Wait, what? This failed on line 22? That seems weird. I'm. Okay, what were the packages that got installed? <sighs> hmm. Why is this not, okay, from, So this says, uh, okay, so this, sorry. It's sensibly it failed here, but it hasn't failed there before. No, that's, you know, making a hell of a lot of sense. Uh, what? 
Okay. This stack trace is not making me understand what's going on at all. Uh, maybe I'm looking at the wrong stack trace. Okay. Oh yeah, I probably it's from when I press Control C. Okay. Ah. Okay. FP mixed. No. Okay. So this is coming from. Side of okay. Um, ah, this is transformers training args can only be used on CUDA devices. Uh, hmm. Where is this? Okay, trainer line two forty one. Give or take. Ah, oh, let's go. The, the line number seems a little sus, like, but, eh, okay. Um, why is it not trying to load this into CUDA? That is my question. Okay, uh, deep speed. this error from the last time we ran this. Uh, so we're actually going to go... Uh, yeah, uh, was it here or was it here? Was it here? Um, okay. So... Happened here. This exploded on eh, 321, 266 in constructing the trainer. So, for some reason, before we got down here, and now we're arrowing out up here. So, I'm gonna uh, well, okay. So, where's the list of the new things that we've installed? Pi CPU info? I don't know. Okay, um, Python, uh, Ninja? I don't know. Ah, uh, that's probably not it. Um, but let's, I have a theory. Let's try uninstalling deep speed. We'll see if that does the trick. This is this is like kind of weird. Like, why is it now not using CUDA, but before it was? We haven't really changed much in the system, and by much I mean anything. The only thing we installed was ooh, we installed gRPC IO. Hmm. Maybe our TensorFlow version has changed and it's no longer using V2 
the special magic TensorFlow version uh, from the Jetson folks, and so it's falling back to CPU mode. I could see that. That would make more sense. But we did just uninstall DeepSpeed, so we're going to see if that does it. Um, in the meantime, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, or was it PyTorch? I don't know. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah. So my guess, um, is that we really need to force it to use our, our, uh, the NVIDIA Jetson, NVIDIA Jetson AGX, uh, PyTorch. Yes. So, yes. Um, oh, this is a bit of a hack, but um, yes, that URL does not exist, which is great. Um, Freeze pipe prep torch. Yep. Yep. Oh, they want one dot thirteen. Hmm. Um. Okay, maybe that's why. Weird. I didn't think this needed. Hmm. Okay, torch, okay, so that's why. Um, so then if we do this, if we install the right version of torch um, from NVIDIA, then maybe this will work. Uh, and the reason why it installed a different version of torch is we had something that uh, conflicted um, we had PyTorch 2, sorry, we had Torch 2, and we need a Torch greater than or equal to 1.13. Um, 1 1.14 sh should fit the bill there. So this will hopefully work, and we'll be back in happy GPU land. actually 1.13.1 despite being called do here actually yeah um oh, it's gonna take forever though potentially I'm lazy 
How long is it going to take? And can we run without it? Ooh. Fantastic. This doesn't work. That is a bug that we can fix. Not super important. Um, good and it looks like there's actually wheels for all of these things so that's good um, cool uh, drop duplicate uh, torch um, requirements just for dev.txt Installing with dev.txt uh, results in Again, it's like not super important, but you try and do it with the small things. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, this is going to installing with fix but small fix a day okay uh, what do we do over here uh, this is great uh, now let's run it Bit of a hack. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. We'll add more things to our little notes uh, in a readme file. Um, uh, 
uninstall uh, deep speed um, does not play nicely with the NVIDIA uh, fork. fork, fork. Uh, but similar issues exist on OS X. Okay, now we actually start to load things, and the GPU does things, and now it fails. Oh, right, that's because there's no warm-up steps specified. Okay, good. Good, progress, progress. Um, Okay, well, it's loading the model still. Still only in CPU mode, so we know it hasn't actually started to really do any actual work, because it's all going to get offloaded to the GPU. Okay, initializing trainer. Uh, GPU is actually going. Fantastic. Um, okay, okay, so that's progress of a sort. Um, this looks good. The GPU is chugging along at 100%. We have uh, of of um, it's like available processing power. Ooh, that just crashed. That's interesting. Uh, JTOP system service just went away, and that just got killed. Huh. Interesting. I'm wondering if we're going to see anything in the syslog. Okay. No. Um. Ah, here we go. Okay. So we got uh, um, killed. Which is interesting, because I didn't think we were using that much memory? Hmm. Okay. Weird. Um... Let's try this again without running JTOB, and I'm gonna watch the free memory. Oh, actually, let's uh, watch uh, in Google. Um, is here. Uh, watch help. Um, ah, yes. Uh, dash n. Well, let me go with. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the memory go up. Um, 
could make a big swap file, but we still have a fair amount of free space. I think. <sighs> What's interesting about the, I mean, there's many interesting things about the Jetson. One of the interesting things about the Jetson is that it, ha ooh, there we go. There she goes. There she goes, my friends. And we are filling up our swamp. And we will probably be um killed momentarily, if not already. Unless we've reached a steady state, which would be great. Nope, we have not. Oh wait! Ooh, yeah. Uh, because we got um, killed. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. But progress. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. We have our like test program here, right? So, okay. Um, so, I want to see fits uh, and bytes. How do you face? Okay. Um, yes. Uh, So, ah, uh, yeah, okay, uh, this is coming back to me, and by coming back, yeah, I mean it is coming back to me. Uh, Emacs, test up high. It's like model underscore, Ooh, yeah, let's go take a look at this. Um, loading an 8-bit to work. I think it doesn't out of the box, but I don't remember why. But maybe it does. Sure. Okay. Please compile from source. Okay. Uh, it's in bytes. GitHub. So. 
we will try. No. Where are ah, NVCC not found? Uh, okay. Uh, NVCC Judson. Got a lot of fun things to do here. Um, mostly because I want this to like work and I'm lazy and I don't remember things. So, um, dude on uh, that's an EGX. Uh, we need. Bytes. It needs to be compiled from source for the Jetson. Okay, cool. Uh, 
Okay. Um, Probably gonna fail. Um, I think. I think. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Interesting. Uh, parts. Activate. So that fits some bytes. Let's see here. Oh, God damn it, this is hard coded to NVCC, isn't it? Is it? Hmm. That's a good question. Uh... Hmm, I can probably move the NVCC inside of setup bits and bytes because it's the only place we use it. Yeah. 
fascinating. Um, hmm. possible that this just doesn't work on not Dolly because Dolly itself clearly does but bits and bytes just doesn't work on the Jetson which should be inconvenient I'll be right back. our adventure. Um, This is something. Hmm. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oof. This is starting to get funky. Um...
So Okay. What is See if this works. I don't know. Neon to SSH. Okay, uh, Debian. Well, Just sensibly called uh, SSE two neon. Uh, you should use this SSE two. Okay, that's from not that long ago. Okay, uh, SSE two neon SSE. Okay. Um Okay. So I'll definitely have to install this, but I'm also going to have to figure out how to get this to build, which is that part's a little bit funky. Um Go. We're gonna write some things in here. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, um... Compile from source. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, for arm. Uh, SSST replaces. Um, enabled. Uh, you must have the SSE2 neon package. Okay, that's fuck. This is getting. Marginally more involved than, uh, actually, yeah, definitely more involved than planned. But that's, uh, hey. Uh, uh, that's my life. Making things work. Um, maybe. Maybe making things work. Okay. Uh, if def. SSE to neon uh, and if uh, okay dash D I think it's dash D Sorry if I remember um, uh, GCC flag to Define value. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Great, and then for some reason this does not do the trick. Uh, um, okay, where is Go use as this use as this eat. All right.
So. <sighs> hmm. Is this gonna, why is this not? Hmm, okay. I dealt with C code, even building it. Uh, maybe not that long, actually. Ray involves building some C code. Um, E2neon.h is not found, which is sort of what we expect. So um, we will use this one and we will install it. Yeehaw. Hmm. Well, 
not spicy, but uh, The good news is, it's probably true that other people haven't done this. Um, so that's good, I guess. Um, how do we install this? Um, I would like to install this. Interesting. Looking great. <sighs> hmm. Uh, well,
Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Bunch of libraries. Um, Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, this one all of nowhere. Um, oh, damn it. Um, this is probably gonna fail, but let's try it quickly. Yeah. Fuck, so we can't get bits and bytes to work on the Jetson AGX, which is, you know, inconvenient. Um, hmm. Hmm. What? Okay, so if bits and bytes won't work on the AGX, it really means that fundamentally we can't train this library on the AGX. And that's okay, I think, also because it's been like over an hour. Um, so that's a little bit annoying. Okay. Uh, we also don't get like a nice little PR out of it. Although, I mean, actually, I guess we can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, Keygen. Ooh, that actually probably broke something. That my bad. Uh, whatever. So we're gonna add this thing so I can do a quick pull request uh, so that I can. Uh, raise a PR for it because you know, even though it won't work on a Jetson, uh, it should work on like a more reasonable ARM implementation. Uh, HMV1. Okay, add SSH key, uh, use GitHub Mobile, which means I need to find my phone. Ooh, that's what I just got. Uh, Okay. Oh, my phone is literally on my desk. Okay, yeah. Uh, 
GitHub, bits and bytes. So we're gonna go ahead and um, make a fork of this. big uh, like much bigger than it needs to be so uh, git add compile from source git add readme date uh, the read okay and then I guess yeah so the auto formatter did some things that we don't really want it to do that's okay um, actually, uh, use as is it. So, update docs. Well, 
builds. Um, uh, with, let's go more complete. Uh, arm libs. Wait, does it build? I don't think it does. Um, yeah. Um, maybe this could be useful. Okay, cool. Um, cool. Uh, so that's that's something, you know. Um, eh. Mini progress, mini progress. Not what we wanted. So, okay, right. Uh, takeaway from today is uh, fundamentally we, we can't do this training on um, on my Justin AG axis, and that's frustrating. But we can definitely do inference on the AG axis because we can load the model and it works. We don't have to use the four bit quantization. Um, that's quite lovely. Hmm, actually, I wonder, can I do this on my desktop? Because I do have, like, I do have a janky GPU, but it is a GPU. Um, yeah. Okay, that does work. Hmm. Let's give this a shot. Um, on my desktop, I wonder if we do. Um, oh, wait, do I not have the VM activated? I don't. Whatever, that's fine. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, like maybe I can do this on my. On my desktop, I don't know. I don't know if I can. Hmm. Um, yeah. So this works. You know, with Conda, and then ah, uh, yeah, this is going to be where it fails because we run out of. Um, GPU memory, I think. I think this is going to be where it fails. Yeah. OK. Um, yeah, CUDA out of memory. So what happens? Uh, hmm. Question 
if we set that, what happens? Do do do. This map needs to be passed to um, device map auto. Hmm. Because there's wheels for everything, uh, and even if there weren't, it's got a lot more cores that are all bigger. Um, hmm. Oh no! Oof. Oh, okay. Which, uh, Okay, uh, PyTorch list devices. Import PyTorch.
Hmm. Okay. Uh, plug in face mean two device. How do I? this working super easily. Although, I don't know. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Ah, yes. This is not my not my GPUs. Hmm. Uh, bits and bytes. Four bit. Um. Let's go take a look at this. I don't think this is going to work, but eh, you never know. like we're going further than before nope ah uh, what does this error mean uh, okay oh well, yes so here we go. Device map auto.
We can definitely do this for inference, but I don't think we can do this for tuning. Let's take a look. Oh, there's a fine tuning code lab. Let's go take a look at this. Um, this if that ends up being a thing but maybe that could be interesting calling save pre-trained on a 4-bit model. This is not currently supported. Interesting. Where is it being called? It's being called from modeling utils.
then we call trainer.train. Oh, and then this is called save model. But this cannot save a. M what? This can't save the model. Uh, so we can train it, but we can't save it. That's interesting. Um, hmm. <sighs> okay, uh, let's go, I guess. Hugging face, save, pre-trained. Um, hmm, okay, save, four bit model, hugging face. So we can't actually really fine tune it, really. Um, yes. Um, let's take a look at this train. This is the same training notebook, right? Um, the question is, does it get saved? Uh, answer seems to be no. This does call save free trains underneath the hood. But I don't, hmm. Okay, this is weird. in theory is kind of supported. Uh, huh. But maybe not. Actually? Hmm. Ah. Uh, 
Okay. There's some other things happening here. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Necessarily need that part. I think. Yeah, it's the task type. do want this because I don't I super love this but this is something Oh god, that's... like we have a lot of data and I just I really want to just Okay, so this actually does kind of work, fuck. That means that I maybe need to, okay. Um, that's cool, and by cool I mean eh, progress. But we can, we can train a quantized version of the model, and then Directory, uh, train dolly. Yes. Um, uh, test model dot py. Uh, try to health insurance. Yes. Um, from 
Tommy dot training dot flow. Interesting. We have a tokenizer config.json, but we don't have a config.json. Okay. Yeah. It's a bug with like our stuff because we've done a whole bunch of crap or something else. Hard to say. Uh, but let's do some things. Okay. Cute. Type bool. Default. False. Use four bit for
progress. Um, This is coming from 
Ah, could not determine name for option. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Makes sense. This is trainer line 171. Ah. the next question will be why is there no config.json all right um This is weird. Why are there? Hmm. Uh, Q Laura. Save pre trains and figure out Jason. This is a
is not doing anything particularly funky, but deep speed config. is empty. a tokenizer config, interestingly enough, but not, I don't think this is going to work, but yeah, stranger things have happened.
Oh, right, wrong, wrong computer. Uh, okay, it's loaded something. As Okay. Okay. Uh. Ah. Yes. Okay. So it's not. Uh, let's go. Config dot JSON. Laura. Model save. Is in. This is a, a Qlora specific thing. Um, that's my guess. Uh, <sighs> if Qlora underscore hold it. There's always leak code if you're just looking for last minute interview prep. It's kind of just like churn on some problems to get in the headspace in case they ask you like one of those annoying programming things. Um, I wish people didn't do that, but it's pretty common. Um, Okay, so let's see. All right, and then actually the other thing we'll do is and this should actually work because we just oh man, I'm hungry. Oh, it's six thirty. Okay. I should I should actually wrap for the day, um, or at least for a little bit. We got it training something. It's not perfect, um, but it is it is training, um, and we'll go from there. Uh, maybe tonight, later after I get back, probably not, but maybe uh, we'll. Uh, ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh, yes. Okay, yes, yes. Well, that's at least moderate progress. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll we'll work on this uh, in a little bit. Um, and, and that could be kind of cool. Because um, if we can if we can use the like four bit quantize training to like screw around with stuff on my desktop, then uh, yeah, I know I'm trying to get this thing done um, this weekend uh, mostly, but I can I can answer questions on and off. Um, probably stream some Saturday during the day I think is my plan uh, we'll see how this goes though uh, maybe maybe this will work actually another thing that we should do because like, this is in some random directory uh, get branch going to produce a runnable model, um, but that's that's okay. Okay, whatever. Um, two-hour interviews, um, but not for a while. Yeah, okay, uh, this, this doesn't look great. Like, it's not not working great but it, it is something it's a bit of progress um, let's go ahead let's take a look at the Q GitHub um, let's search inside of this see if this has been fixed issues ah can't resume from a checkpoint yeah. Yes. Okay. Um Yeah. Ah, how to save a quantized model. Interesting question. Uh Okay, I guess instead of going more, okay. Um, I don't 
something that's gonna fix it, but uh, you never know. Uh, hope springs eternal, right? Um. Uh, making good progress. This gives us progress, right? And we push it to a branch so that even if I like accidentally delete this. Ah. Progress, not great, but it's, it's something. Okay. Uh, at the very least, uh, we can like kind of half ass run this. Um, See what we managed to do here. Get to um, oh, yeah. Um,
Send me an email. I'll see if I can take a look. I, I gotta head out tonight and I gotta make dinner, but send me an email. Um, and, and I'll see. Uh, Trying to run training on the AGX. Um, uh, no luck. Actually, for now, I'm going to hold this uh, eh, kind of funky. Okay. Then we'll do a get push. That leaves us somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's holden.caro at gmail.com. Good. Um, okay, cool. I'll see you all around. Um, Thanks everyone for joining. Um, probably I'll be back tomorrow. I don't think I'll be back tonight. I'm kind of hungry and I got stuff to do. But I'll probably be back tomorrow and we'll um, try and train this model on, on some real data. Uh, well, real, probably like 20 examples. And then we'll write uh, some data extraction stuff so we can do more more things uh, I got some sketchy plans but I'm excited anyways thank you all for joining and uh, have a very good day